The original AQ slugs were made in Italy, but unfortunately the company went out of business around 10 years ago and they just haven't been available. They were very popular amongst hunters, so much that Ballistic Products is now manufacturing these in the United States. The AQ slug is designed for smoothbore shotguns. It has an attached stabilizer tail on it, made out of plastic with slanted ribs on it. As the slug travels down the barrel, the slanted ribs will give the slug a little bit of a spin to enhance the stability. I've added some markings on the slug which will allow us to see the slug actually rotate in flight. Here we see a comparison between the original AQ slug and the new one made by BPI. The most noticeable difference is the original has a more spherical design while the BPI slug takes a straight wall approach. This makes the BPI slug around 22 grains heavier than the original design. Unlike the original AQ slugs, Ballistic Products has also introduced a non-lead and also a frangible version of these slugs. These are available on Ballistic Products website. Just Google AQ slugs, you'll be able to find it. It doesn't take a lot of expense or knowledge to load your own shotgun rounds like these. Uh, even a dummy like me can do it. I find it really satisfying to load my own ammunition. But if you prefer to buy your ammunition already loaded, you can find these on Warwolf Ordnance's website. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a uh, slug here from Ballistic Products called the AQ. Not sure what that stands for. Awful cute or awful quick or <laughs> something like that. Uh, running 30 grains of long shot. These are designed actually for smooth bore, but we're going to try it through a rifled barrel just because. People always want to know if, yeah. you know, they have this assumption that rifling makes everything better, but these are engineered for smooth bore. So if they'll run through both, then you've got a universal product. That's true. That's a good idea. Just because not everybody's got rifle barrels, not everybody's got, runs a uh, smooth bore, so. That's good information, you know. We'll be able to tell how steady the, the slug is through both. The old ones that we shot were very, very accurate and steady. Through, through, through smoothbore, yeah. Through smoothbore? It was, uh, these things are really known for their accuracy. A few people have asked us to test them out, and the good folks at Ballistic Products sent us just a handful of them. I didn't need a whole lot, and they sent me enough to do the video and all that. Well, we're going to try it out against that lead plate. Lead plate, yeah. Lead on lead violence. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, which way, you're gonna shoot the left dot first? I I, I don't think either dot's gonna survive, but it, it's maybe. California, let's or the left one first. Okay, and we'll see if we'll get a crony reading. I'll keep an eye on that. All okay, right. I'm ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Good. Let's. Well, it said 10:22. We'll see if that that seems a little light. Now remember, these are designed for smoothbore shotguns. Adding more spin doesn't necessarily equate to better performance and better accuracy. A rifled barrel generally is more accurate, not because of the spin, but because it's a stiffer barrel. You have less barrel harmonics to deal with. Now I wouldn't rule these out completely for a rifled shotgun. I would like to see other channels, you know, dial them in and see how accurate they can get with them. All right, we're going to try it again with a smooth bore. This is the same gun. We're just swapping barrels back and forth. So optics and everything being the same, I'm going to hold the same point of aim, uh, which puts my dot about the top of the sticker down there. Uh, that, that's a, uh, I've got to sight it in for about 50 yards. And we're at so it's 10 get, yards or so here. Just yeah. to, we, we got it close so we could see how the so we can really zoom in with the high-speed camera and, and, and observe to see if they're rotating or wobbling around and all that stuff. When we get out to long ranges, you can't see that. We don't have enough zoom on the high-speed camera. People all, you know, we always start close with a big target and figure out where these things are landing because we don't take any practice shots, you know? We just start out, you know, it learn it along is. the way. You see it like we do. Yeah. All right, let's see what she does through smoothbore. Okay, I'll keep an eye on the chronograph again. See if we got a, a more believable reading. I'm ready whenever you are. 
Okay, 1228, that's more believable. Using the smoothbore, we do see a reduction in the rate of spin, but it is a much steadier, stable projectile. Just like a football thrown with a spiral, you don't need thousands of RPM to stabilize a projectile in flight. In the case of the AQ slug, trying to rotate it too fast created undesirable results like yawing of the tail. Sometimes rifling helps, sometimes it doesn't. Almost exact same damage. This is the the smooth bore. That's the rifle. But it looked like um, it was just a little left to the center. Left it, it, elevation was good, but it was a little bit left. It's California. Is, it's California, yeah. And our lead plates are made out of soy. But uh, exact same damage for the most part. Even on the back side. Yeah, a little bigger bulge. A little there, bigger bulge, yeah. Feels a little better. People think that a rifled barrel has reduced velocity for some reason, and I don't know <laughs> where they get that. Like it's it's more resistance. It's it's still gonna go the same speed. The splash. Yeah, cratering. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the steel the steel toe boot from Matt V twenty nine twenty ninety nine. Um, yeah, just, we're still figuring out where the point of impact is with these things. Let's see if he can hit that steel toe. I'm ready. For 12.49. In this second shot through the smooth bore, Danny kept the same point of aim that he used on the lead plate and again the slug was a little bit to the left. This is a good sign because it's showing consistency. Danny can now begin to bring his point of aim to the right since these slugs seem to have a tendency to shoot a little bit to the left. At least compared to the foster slugs that he used to sight in his red dot with. It's surprising how much the ballistics change when you go from one type of ammunition to another even at only 10 yards. The good old soda can being held it with a little hand. What would happen if you were holding a can and somebody shot it with a slug? <laughs> Everyone wants to know. Well, if you got a fiberglass fist, yeah, this would be a good, a good example. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Wow. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> After taking only two shots with the smoothbore shotgun, Danny has figured out where to hold the gun and is dead on target now. That's pretty good. And that's a lot of damage. See what it does to our little ballistic gel block? See how much it cavitates it and all that? 1246 on the last shot. I'm ready. Well, shot number four through the smooth bore again shows consistency, and when you have consistency, you have repeatability, and that equates to accuracy. So, yeah, these are, as far as I can see, as good as the original AQ slugs. All right, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to try uh, some shots at 50 yards. I know this thing's shooting a little bit left from uh, where my red dot is, but like I say, I'm. I'm tuned with uh, Foster Slugs at 50. So I'm gonna hold the first one on target. You see that one? Something smacked hard. Uh, it's uh, just above the red dot. Right, okay. Use, okay, now you just use the same point of aim. I 
last one. Okay. That one's on the dot. We got a decent group. All right. Hold your hand there. Does it give you people an idea of the scale? Okay. About four inch. There was one, two, three, and fourth. Okay. And, and again, you never took any practice shots with these. Maybe my powder load isn't the, the ideal powder load. If you load these yourself, use, you know, their recommended powder loads, you know. Mm, talking to old man's eyes too here, so. That's true, yeah. But uh, because those were shooting a little bit left, I was actually putting my point of aim here. Okay, okay. Right on the edge of the cardboard. Little Kentucky windage, but you were using the same point of aim for same every shot. Same point of aim every time, right here. Yeah, people always want us to do a grouping test. And we, we're, we're not the best uh, channel for doing that. There's people that fixate on getting tight groups and finding the right powder recipes. We're just showing the general, you know, ballistics of these of these slugs. We may not have the perfect ballistics. Everything may not be perfect. No, I'm not the best shot in the world either. You're a good shot, but maybe maybe t today's not your day or something. I, I don't know. You know, who knows? I mean, yeah, that's not bad. I've been gone for a month, man. That's true. Yeah. Get this bionic shoulder tuned in. <laughs> there you go. Four right. shot group. I think I got to take down an animal. I think so. Two-legged or four? Yeah. All right. It looks like a good product. Okay, now that he's got it dialed in, we'll see if he can hit that little uh, Ericsson phone there. Just see how accurate these are and repeatable. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh wow, look at that mess. <laughs> Must have been the battery. It's what's left, I think, of the battery, yeah. Oh, don't eat. Don't lick your fingers. Well, there you go. The first look at the new, improved, made in the USA AQ slugs by Ballistic Products. I do think it would be interesting to see how other YouTube channels like Steve at uh, Fortune Cookie 45 LC see how his hand loads would do you know maybe get some rifle barrel tests and smooth bore tests see how that all compares and see how it compares to our data and of course we want to thank our patreon supporters for their loyalty I'm sure that this video is going to get demonetized after a week or maybe two just like the backwards pellet uh, video we posted just a week ago it got demonetized <laughs> But uh, thanks to you guys, it's one less thing to worry about. We can keep on producing these videos and bring you information and entertainment and hopefully a smile on your face. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Period. End of report. Thanks for watching.